So now that we've got the project neatly sorted, um, what we want to start doing is sort of adding elements to start working on the project. And the first thing I want to do is add the dependency, uh, the connection between the application and the database that we've just created. And we use the Spring JPA um, to, to do that. So what we need to do, we need to add the that J JPA as a dependency and then the connectivity details for the database. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your POM file. Now this is where all our dependencies, Maven brings in all our dependencies for the project. And what we want to do, and I've got this copied so that um, I don't have to type it out and bore you, but we want to add basically these two dependencies to this POM file. So the first dependency we want to add is for the Spring Framework uh, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA artifact. All we want to do, we want to stick that underneath the uh, Spring Boot Starter Web. So if we just come in here and just paste that in. So we're just adding a dependency and for the Starter JPA. And then just because we're using the Postgres SQL database, we want to add a dependency for that as well. So if I take that and then also add that to uh, the POM file. Now, if we save that now, just that has now added the dependency for Maven. So we could then just reload. Sometimes you get asked if you want to import it via IntelliJ, sometimes not. But if we were to now look in our external libraries, we should see the org Postgres. So if we go down org and scroll down to P, there's the old Postgres SQL, and we also see the, um, the the one for Spring Framework Boot. It should have should have already been there anyway, but we've, we've added the artifact in there for this starter data JPA. So that's the dependencies that we need added. Next thing we need to do, we need to add the connectivity details. And to do that, we need to go to our main Java and the resources and the application properties. So currently, when you start, it's going to be empty. But what we're going to do at the moment, we're going to take this and add this to that file. And let's move that the top down there. We don't need that. There we go. So what we're adding is, first of all, the data source URL. So this is the URL of your Postgres SQL, which may be slightly different on your machine, but we're running it locally, so it's on local host. I run it on port 5432, which I think is the default that comes for installation, but you might have changed that. And then our database in this regard is the one that we created earlier. So in my case, it's this to do tasks app. So if I go to do tasks app. So that's the data source URL. The username is, in my case, is Postgres. Remember I said earlier, if you create a new one, then this is where you put that. The password, uh, which you'd have to put your own password in. You may have created a database that don't need a username or password, but I would suggest it's better to have that because it's more secure, even though it's it's in plain sight. So if you were doing a video, for example, and then these last three, you should be able to leave uh, as they are default there. Now that should now create the dependencies, add the dependencies, and create the connection for the application that we're creating to the database that we've created already.